Welcome to Turnable Help. This quick video is going to show you uh, how what happens when a user is uh, added as a member of an organization and I'm going to take you through the process from logging in. So if we go back to tablet and I hope that's the correct password. You notice the first thing that happens in the previous video this user demo was made a member of Casterbridge and the terms and conditions were not accepted. So now in order for this user to proceed, he's going to be given the enrollment instructions and also terms and conditions. So if this was your school, your user is in fact agreeing to your terms and conditions of your school. And when I click agree, it is going to record when I did that. Uh, if you remember earlier in one of the previous videos, this user asked to become a member of Rob Ferreira. Okay, so when we said our school, it said Rob Ferreira and Rob Ferreira doesn't have his terms and conditions completed. So this is a good example of why you need to complete your terms and conditions and I'm going to take you back to organizations, to the administrator app. Sorry, I'm just going to close that down. Here in the administrator app, there are terms and con uh, conditions and enrollment instructions. So it's important to keep these things complete so when a user comes to agree to your terms and conditions, there's in fact something to agree to. Because if I hit agree now, it's I'm agreeing actually to nothing. So now what's important to understand is if I go to my organizations, I will be a member of two organizations. So there's the Casterbridge Music Development Academy organization. I'm an administrator. I accepted the terms and conditions at 17.18. It's now 17.20. On the sick and um, that's when my membership start date and I'm also a teacher for this organization I'm not a teacher for that and I have not been accepted to this organization yet and I'm not an administrator okay so that is important to understand so this mentor and this organization admin gives me additional rights so if I go to my dashboard the first thing you notice is I can go to the Silverlight application, this administrator application, which allows me to manage my organization. So I can decide who's going to become an administrator of my organization because I am an, an administrator of the organization. The second thing that's important to understand is because I made the person a mentor, they have now a facility to go for my classrooms. Okay, So my classrooms is a teacher because a teacher manages classrooms. So let's say I wanted to teach music theory, because we are talking about Casterbridge Music Development Academy, pre-grade one. Okay. I need to save. You can see that button is not active. I must save it. So this is a new membership. My classroom has been saved successfully. So you can see, firstly, I have it's asking me, do you want to mentor this? Yes, I can. So I can do one or two things if I don't wish to mentor uh, Casterbridge. Let's say I had many organizations here. And I'll, I'm going to take you to a different user. So this is Michael. And we're going to look at Music Theory Pre-Grade 1 so we can see the difference. So here I am a member of Bonzeni High and Casterbridge. Perhaps I don't want to mentor Bonzeni High at all. So if I untick that and I hit save, what I'm in fact doing is I am mentoring students at Casterbridge, but I'm not mentoring students at Benzeni High. So that seems odd. Okay, but let's just take a look at this. If I go back to the dashboard of this user and I go my organizations, you'll see I'm a member of more than one organization. So I'm a member of Bonzeni High, Casterbridge, and the Curriculum in the Cloud. I'm only a mentor of two organizations. So maybe I didn't want to mentor Music Theory at Bonzeni High and Casterbridge. So these two organizations are the organizations that are pulled through to my classroom. Okay. So I've been earmarked to be a mentor in both of those organizations. And at this point, is where I can choose to administer whether I want to in fact teach music theory to Bonzeni High. So if I don't want to teach music theory to Bonzeni High, I don't have to. 
The second thing that I can do is it says mentor all users, which means mentor everybody at this organization who's enrolled in that. And I'm going to go back to demo user because I'm going to demo it because we've started them up from nothing. Okay, so he only has one organization here and he's obviously mentoring it because it's the only, he's decided to mentor uh, music theory pre-grade one for this organization. Now, do I want to mentor all users or do I want to mentor just some of them? So what I can do is I could in fact say I don't want to mentor all users. So now which users am I going to mentor? So here are all the users that are enrolled in music theory pre-grade one. So I could go through and I could go and individually pick the users that I want to mentor, which seems a very tiresome thing. Or I could say, actually, and if these were classes, and I know they're not classes, these are in fact bands, I could say I want to mentor this band, which is 13 people I could say I'm going to mentor those 13. So it says six users will be auto-enrolled and what that means is six users in the, out of these 13 haven't enrolled in Music Theory Grade 1. So the fact that I selected them is going to force those users, so if this was the Grade 10A class for instance and I was teaching Grade 10 maths, I would, by doing this I would be enrolling all the students in my class into the subject that I'm teaching. So now when I go save what it's going to do is it's going to give me a different list of mentors. So I'm not mentoring all users. Okay, so if I go view my classroom, and this is starting to get quite complex, but it's not really, it's very, very easy. You can see those are the people that I'm mentoring. They're not very many. Okay, if I go back and I say I really want to, to mentor all the, the users, and I've gone totally fucking off point here. 